did God actually say, you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that's in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and that and they sewed fig leaves together and made for themselves loincloths. So what we see here is absolutely incredible. God creates humans in his image. He tells them, you now have my authority. You are to exercise dominion over everything in creation. You are to create. This is, this is who we are. He blessed them, be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 3 comes, and we see that the serpent is chilling at the one tree that God said, this is the one thing you shouldn't eat. When God blessed them, he said, you can have everything in the garden except one tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They're hanging out there at the one tree that they shouldn't eat, you know, walking the line, and not a good idea. And the serpent tells them, God is withholding something good from you. He says, the reason that God doesn't want you to eat this tree is because he knows that in the day that you eat of it, you are going to be like him. Your eyes are going to be open and you're going to be like him. Now, here's what's crazy. When God created humans, Genesis 1, God made us in his image and likeness. We already are like God by nature of the fact that he created us in his image. That is an identity that was given to us at creation. You didn't earn that. You didn't achieve that. I didn't do anything to be that. God made us that way. But now the serpent comes and says, you should try and achieve this identity rather than receive it. He says, if you do what I tell you, which is the opposite of what God said, God said, exercise dominion over all the creatures. But the creature, the serpent says, if you submit to me and listen to me, you will actually be like God. And